Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 2, Episode 0 of Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition, and we are uh, doing our setup round for this, uh, our second season of Twilight Imperium. So we are, we are going to simulate a six-player game here. So just getting the um, map hexes sorted out, get the galaxy built out. Uh, we're kind of randomly selecting them from the pile of the map hexes. Then uh, get out the reinforcement units, uh, planet cards, get the planet cards passed out for each of our races, get technology cards set up, action, political cards, objective cards, obviously um, the strategy cards going along the bottom here, flip all those over to, uh, to active, and uh, we'll go through the, the setup. So yeah, so actually there was a, we've had some requests to do another season of this. We haven't played it in quite a while, and I, I believe out on uh, either on Odyssey or on the Rumble. You know, we're on YouTube, but we're also on Odyssey and Rumble uh, or over the Patreon. We had a request to uh, another season of this. So I, I started recently reading the Asimov Foundation uh, seven books again. So it kind of got into a sci-fi phase. Um, so looking forward to setting up. Yeah, getting the units passed out for these. Um, I'll go through wh which colors are which uh, race. And I'll probably do a little reading from the lore of Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition. So so looking forward to starting this. And uh, we'll jump right into the uh, wrap-up of the setup in detail. We'll walk through the setup steps. And then we can go on to turn one. So we've done the fast forward through the uh, the main setup. We've got we got the uh, overall galaxy set up. We've got our um, five. I'm sorry, our six races. So we're playing with the Federation of Soul, the Mentak Coalition, the Emirates of Hakan, the Universities of Jolnar, the Nawala Collective, and uh, lastly is the. Exja Kingdom, the Exja Kingdom. So we've gone ahead and uh, set up our tokens. We've set up our ships per the um, per the uh, player cards. We've got our available units uh, set up, and we've passed out our initial technology cards, our initial planets, and I've also randomized the secret objective cards for everybody. So. Um, We've got that all set up. We've also got the, um, we've got our s strategy cards ready. I've built the public objective card deck that we can use. Uh, off the board here, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got our track for the turn track. Planet cards, political cards, action cards set up. And we're also going to be playing with, uh, we're going to be playing with leaders. So we've got each of the leaders for this. So, um, so yeah, so before we get into it, I want to quick shout out to our sponsor, Pontos Fathom Press. Um, we're on a sci-fi theme here, so why not check out book one and two of the Quantum Locksman Saga, Dead Sons 11, and The Locksman of Quanta. You can go check out our bookstore link uh, down in the, uh, in the description. You can also check out our Patreon, and as usual, um, if you like uh, the video, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, uh, ring the bell if you want to get notified when we have more gameplays. You know, this is season two of our uh, Twilight Imperium, so we haven't played it for a while, so we're really looking forward to jump into this one. So yeah, so let's let's kind of get into it. So we'll go through, I'm going to go through the setup one by one, but I do want to kind of read a little bit of this backstory here because I just think it's cool. So it says, um, the Quan conflict marks the beginnings of the Age of Twilight. So because of all the planets in the galaxy, no planet was more war-torn than Metacol, Me Mechatol Rex. Over the course of a few years, the planet's ecology was ravaged by bombardments, its population decimated, and its green fields blasted into a toxic wake wasteland. The last Lazak emperor and his entire family were executed during an early soul incursion, and no successor was named. After the death of the last emperor, all semblances of La Lazak control collapsed. The Lazak people became hunted across the galaxy in the vengeful wave that was known as the Great Scourge. Lasting only 20 years, the Scourge resulted in the complete annihilation of the Lazak race. 
Until now, no Lazak has been seen in the known galaxy for 3,000 years. But the Twilight Wars continued for centuries. No race was powerful enough to seize the throne and risk the fate of the Lazak. Slowly, the strength of the great civilizations failed as their economies crumbled and whole technologies were lost from the strain of long war. The Twilight Wars died in a slow whisper. The time that followed, now known as the Dark Years, was a period of economic, cultural, and intellectual collapse. The day will come soon when a new emperor will rise. For the sake of all, may the new emperor not only have the power to seize the throne, but the strength to conquer the peace. So here's our Twilight Imperium backstory. What I'll do is I'll read through the backstories. Maybe on each turn, I'll pick one of the races and we can kind of cycle through those just to get a little uh, uh, gameplay, gameplay flavor. So I've got the, um, the troops distributed. Let's kind of go quickly through the, um, as I mentioned, we've got the planet cards all passed out for each of our planets. So some of the races have gotten, uh, some have one planet, Mentax and Federation of Soul have one planet. Some have two, Naula Collective, University of Jolnar have two planets. Same with the Exja Kingdom and the Hakan Emirates, they've got three planets. So um, that helps them there. We've got our control markers set. Uh, Different ships per the command card, and we've got our strategy allocation, fleet supply, and command pool card set up. So let's just kind of go through the game setup just to make sure we got everything. Uh, separate the 10 home planet systems, build the deck. Yes, each player selects one of the six races. Well, I'm playing all six races, but yes. As you guys know, this is not a solo play. Uh, this is a uh, multiplayer game, but we're going to play it as a six-player game, and we'll just sort of simul simulate that. So... So uh, find an area in the table that's convenient for the common area. Shuffle the action card deck and political cards deck. So yes, yeah, so I guess I've got two action cards deck just because of height reasons. So we'll just work off of both of them. But let's give these a sh quick shuffle. And uh, action cards. OK. We'll just start off that middle action card deck. What else do we have here? Uh, other setups. Uh, each player selects one of the six available color units. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've, I've tried to match them up as similar as possible. So you've got uh, Hakan Emirates has got the yellow. You've got Seoul is black and they've got the blue fleet. Um, Mentak Coalition is orange with red. The Exja Kingdom is green with green. And then the Nawala Collective, I've given them the blue. Nawala. And then the Universities of Jolnar, I've given them the purple. Tried to align it up with their actual colors to make it a little easier on me. So we've done that. We've placed all the trade good counters. So we've got our trade counters and some counters here off, off camera. And we've also got some more ship reinforcements in a big tray off camera too. So we can dive into those. Uh, okay, so next up it says uh, create the objective deck. So I did prepare the objective deck. Uh, some of the cards are discarded. I have not even looked at any of the objective deck cards, but these are the discarded ones. They go back in the box. And we only play off of the public objectives. Uh, stage one and stage two, and then we have our secret obje objectives. I'll reveal them, um, say on turn one, when we get to turn one, I'll go through and reveal those. And uh, uh, next victory track is placed to zero space. We're playing a 10 round game. Players now create the game board of the galaxy, which we've done. We've got the galaxy with Mechatol Rex in the center. Uh, you guys saw when I fast forwarded through that, um, have wormholes, so just looking at the board strategically here, there is a wormhole between Lodor and here, which could be helpful. And there is one that's very helpful. Maybe the Naula Collective will be the first to exploit Mechatol Rex here because they've, they've got a, a, a wormhole right there. So that might be a good strategy for them to grab that planet of Kwan, the Kwan world. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Next is that after the galaxy has been created, all players uh, place their setup units on their home systems. 
all players then find their starting technology cards. I'll go through the starting technologies of each race too as we go through the uh, turn one. So we'll get through. We'll get. We'll get to that as well. And uh, that'll work. And next, we'll uh, says all players now take their starting command counters from the reinforcements, placing on their race sheets as follows: two command counters in the strategy allocation, two three command counters in the command pool, and three command counters in the fleet supply area, with the fleet side up. And it says basically now we are ready to play the game. So yeah, so so great guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, check the link ahead. Uh, we will jump into turn one, and uh, looking forward to season two of Twilight Imperium. Thanks for watching, and talk to you in turn one. Bye-bye.